Hey everyone, welcome to today's Godot tutorial where we are looking at how to use yield in Godot and coroutines. So for those who don't know what coroutines are, basically coroutines are functions where we can actually pause the execution and then resume execution again. And by doing so, we can wait for certain things to happen before executing other things. So what I'll do is I'm going to show you the very basic example of what it is and then I'll show you an example of how we did this in a previous tutorial series to wait for basically sounds to stop playing before we kill a player for example. So before we get started I just want to say if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet uh, please do so now and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of these tutorials going forward. So here I've basically just created a example project called Godot Yield Tutorial and I'm just going to go ahead and just create a 2D scene and I'm going to add a script and I'll just call it no2d.gd. I'm going to get rid of these comments and everything and then what we'll do is we'll just declare a function which is going to be our coroutine. So basically we can call this whatever we want so I'm just going to call it uh, co and then we'll basically go ahead and just print some stuff so we'll print execute one for example then we'll do a yield and the yield will basically pause this and then it will be able to be resumed at a later stage so we'll do execute two so that you can actually see what it does and then in ready we can basically get our coroutine by just creating a variable called uh, whatever we want. So I'm just going to call it C and we'll call our coroutine. Then we can go ahead and just print out anything. So let's say execute 3 so that you can understand how these executions happen. Save that off and then we can run and choose our node 2D scene. And if you look at this, you'll see that it's now basically executed 1 and 3, and it's skipped 2. So yield is basically pausing this uh, function after it's executed 1, and then it's waiting for us to resume. So basically it's now executed, then it executes 3, and now it's waiting for us to resume. So what I'll do is I'll stop this. And then I'm going to just resume it by saying c.resume like that. And then what you'll see is that it will actually then execute everything. So it's going to first of all execute one like this because that's where it executes. It heals, so it stops. Then it executes three. Then we resume it and then it finally executes two. So that's how yield basically works um, by pausing and resuming functions. So where this is useful is in this example, which I'll bring over for you to see. So here we basically went and we just basically said when the player is picking up an item, there will be a pickup sound played and we will yield it until it's basically finished playing. Once it's finished playing, it will unpause, resume, and Q3 will be done so that we can remove the player from the scene because the player has been killed. So, or actually, it's not the player that's been killed, it's the pickup item that has been picked up and we need to remove it from the scene. But the issue is that the sound is attached to this actual pickup item. So, if we removed it before we did this yield, it would have killed the sound halfway. So basically we're waiting until the sound is finished using yield and then finally we'll just remove the item. So guys, basically that's the basics of coroutines and how you can use yield in Godot to pause and resume certain functions and wait for certain signals and states to happen. So I hope this has been useful. If you liked it, please like below. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment section. And I will see you in the next video.